As the stalemate continues between lawmakers over increasing the minimum wage, Governor Tom Wolf is taking executive action. Any Pennsylvania business that receives government loans will soon have to pay their employees more money. Tonight, Jamison Hicksonbaugh joins us here in the studio. Jamison, you have a closer look at this legislation, its potential impact, and the amount of money that employers will have to pay. Yeah, that's right, Eva. Governor Wolf describes the current minimum wage of $7.25 an hour as embarrassing. So he's now pushing to increase wages for workers throughout the state. Governor Wolf highlighting his new workforce agenda today in Delaware County. Under the plan, employers who receive any government assistance must pay workers a minimum wage of $13.50 an hour. The legislation also requires companies to provide workers with paid sick leave. Jezri Friend of the Manufacturer and Business Association says many businesses have reached out to him to express concern. He describes Wolf's plan as disingenuous, doing little to address the worker shortage in Pennsylvania. At a time when the governor says, this is gonna help economic growth. Uh, people will just get back to work if they were just paid a higher wage. His bluff has been called, <laughs> has been well reported. Many employers across the area have already increased wages, many above this 1350 threshold. And the fact of the matter is people just aren't coming back to work. In August, a record of 4.3 million people in the U.S. voluntarily left their jobs and Governor Wolf says the legislation aims to make Pennsylvania a place where people actually want to work. For the Economic Hardship Reporting Project, Jamison Hicksonbaugh, Erie News Now.